Hello there guys, my name is Seagot and welcome back to another video. So for this video, we're basically going to be talking about Bloxburg and how the future of Bloxburg is going to be like after they were bought out by a company for over a hundred million dollars. So we're going to get, you know, more, more into detail about this. But before I start, I just want to let you guys know that the footage I'm going to be using for the background is Arsenal footage. And uh, their YouTube channel is Jaw FPS. They do Arsenal videos, so I got their footage, the footage from them. So these news have been spreading out since yesterday, December 27th. And it's basically just news saying that Bloxburg was bought out by a, a company named Embracer and that they they were bought for over a hundred million dollars. I think I think the a price was like 129 million if I'm correct. But these are just rumors that are possibly very true. But the thing is, no one from the Bloxburg community has said anything. Because at this point, I feel like someone like Coeptus or maybe Froggy Hops would have talked about this. And maybe, like, if it wasn't, if it really didn't happen, they would have probably uh, addressed the, the rumors. But no one has said anything. Everyone from the Bloxburg community has been pretty quiet. And there's a lot of evidence that really confirms these rumors being true. And I'm going to uh, be going over all of these, all the info I found on Twitter and other websites as well. So there's this tweet that I came across made by Bloxburg Update 9. And they basically show the legal document that Coeptus was filed. The Coeptus filed to have the name Welcome to Bloxburg sign off to this new company. And this, I'll go ahead and put up the document real quick for you guys. So feel free to pause the video as well if you want to look over it a little more. But it just shows all the legal facts about it. And you can see that it was filed, uh, it was a filed pending trademark made on November 8th, 2022. And all the information is over there. And then he also followed up saying that the deal most likely fell uh, through August 11th, 2022. And as you can see, if you really do want to look more over the legal document, you can go on Twitter and just search it up. He said that this still means that Coeptus and the original developers are technically still in control of the game, but they don't own it, which means that Embracer probably has a lot of control over Bloxburg now. And I've looked over Twitter a bunch of times. I've tried to look at, you know, the facts and everything about what this means for Bloxburg because some people on Twitter are saying that, you know, Coeptus has completely lost control over Bloxburg. Like he won't, like he can't even do anything about it anymore. And that Embracer is 100% like completely taking over the game. But then some people say that Coeptus is still going to be working on the game with them. It's just that now Embracer owns it. Now, I just feel like he made it, you know, he sold it for $129 million. He made his money. And they definitely, I feel like they definitely own all the rights now to this game. And they're like all the future updates to come to this game. Whatever happens next is going to be based on them. Like that's their decision. They're going to have complete control over that. Now, I do still feel like Coeptus and, you know, the other developers might have a spot in the game. Like, I feel like Coeptus is still going to be working firsthand on the game. Like, he's still going to be a lead developer. But I just feel like this is going to be very different. They're going to have way more developers working on the game. And if you don't know Embracer, the Embracer company is a Swedish company. And they're known for games such as Borderlands, uh, Tomb Raider... Uh, I think Ghost Simulator is in that as well. And these are some very good, no well-known games that are popular. So basically, to summarize all this, the Embracer Group basically bought out Bloxburg for $129 million. And they are a video game and media holding company, which means that they don't develop games. So they, they own the game, but they don't develop the games. Now, they do have development companies that they own as well. So I assume they're just going to have those uh, companies work on the game, which means that Bloxburg is probably going to change. Now, I know a lot of people are asking, like, you know, is Bloxburg going to become free now and all this? Now, in my opinion, I do think that is going to become free. Uh, I don't think it's going to become free like right now, but I think it's going to be coming uh, sooner than usual because Bloxburg was worked on by literally Coeptus and Froggy Hubs like 
their development team is not really big at all and they did a great job you know building assets for the game coming out with these updates and Bloxburg is literally already great as it is so now that they're gonna have a lot of people working behind this game it can be a good thing and a bad thing because they're probably gonna come out of beta soon and I just hope that if they do that they at least have like some rewards or prices some type of achievement for the people that uh, played during the beta because a lot of you know games usually when they come out of beta they give their uh, beta players a prize or a reward to commemorate them for playing the beta so I hope that they do have something like this if they do become free now I know that you know because most people that played that uh, play blocks break they paid you know they paid the 25 robux for it so I do hope that they at least give us something in return for playing the game during the beta now this also means that Bloxburg is probably going to change a lot now i really Bloxburg, like i like i said it's already great as it is but with this new uh company owning it this might change a lot about it and i do have i'm going to be going over something that i found on twitter too about what the company plans on doing with Bloxburg, and it seems pretty legit as well but this like I said, it might be a good and bad thing. I really hope they don't change too much. Like, I hope they don't make Bloxburg into, like, every average Bloxburg game. Because, like I said, Bloxburg was brought out for a reason. It is a game with great potential. It, it is a game that literally... There's no other uh, Roblox game like Bloxburg where you can build freely. Like, I don't know if you guys seen the signs on, like, houses on Bloxburg. But people are really good at Bloxburg. People make great designs. There's a lot of great houses out there, and Bloxbury really empowers people by doing this. It's such a great game for house building for literally our people that are interested in architecture. It is a really fun game. So I hope that this company doesn't ruin the aspect of that, and they just start adding like a bunch of like stuff that ruins the game. Now I have a good feeling about this. I feel like they're gonna listen to the community. I heard that apparently they're gonna bring a community manager uh, as well. To the Bloxburg and most rumors say that the only change that uh, they're gonna have is they're just gonna have more developers working on it apparently Coeptus is still gonna be like you know the uh, quote-unquote owner of it but I really don't everything still kind of uh, everything is new still so we we have to keep going and keep figuring out stuff and you know see what everyone has to say because like I said Queptus hasn't said anything about this yet, but I feel like in the next few days, there's going to be a lot of news that come out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll wrap this video up for you guys because I don't want it to get too long. But I do have some something else to add to uh, finish this off. And it's basically the company in one of their job descriptions for Bloxburg, they added this. And it basically goes over what they plan to do with Bloxburg. And they say a lot of things in this. You guys can also pause this, but it's on the screen. I I made it so that it's going through it slowly because it is a little long. But it says that they still want to maintain the aspects of Bloxburg, like roleplay-wise and building-wise. And let me see real quick what they say. That kind of caught my attention here. They say this means that we will be creating furniture, house building parts, vehicles, picnic areas, uh, even little towns so it looks like they still want to maintain the like all the good things about Bloxburg but I just think they want to make everything more advanced so by this I would assume they're just gonna like have like more realistic bills they're gonna have like like more specific jobs they're gonna have like a, a school program where you can go to school like I just feel like they're gonna advance a bunch of things on Bloxburg which I am a fan of like if you're going to just keep the same bit like if you're gonna keep the the same aspects of the game keep the like the, the the things that make the game good and you're gonna make them better and add more advanced things to it I'm a fan of that I don't mind that at all I just hope they don't change anything like I just hope they don't remove things like pizza planet or like change the map completely I am a fan of them adding stuff and making the game better with the things that they already have in the game so it looks, if you guys do want to look over that again, you guys can just replay the video, just pause that part. They, I did read over that, and it just seems like they're keeping all the good things about it, and they're making it a better game. And apparently we have some leaked pictures coming in of 
Coeptus and some CEOs of the company Embracer having talks with the a whole Bloxburg thing. So you can see. Nah, I'm just playing with you guys. That's just a picture I found on Twitter. I thought it was pretty funny. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I might make another video on this whole Bloxburg thing if more information comes out. Because this is pretty new. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more uh, info coming out these next few days. So I might make another video following up, updating you guys on everything. But if you guys do want to like, you know, know what's going on, just go on Twitter. Uh do your research right i will be on twitter and i will be waiting to see if there's anything else but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like on the video as well and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and peace out